and welcome to the Triple Day Show with your host, mate, Triple Day. This is episode 9 of series 4. So, we've got quite a lot of few purchases to go through, so let's get right to it. So, CDs, DVDs, game, and another thing which I've got to show you. Okay, right, first off, as you'll notice straight away, I've got a new haircut. Because, um, I thought, oh, might as well get a new haircut, might as well get it shorter this time than I did before. So, I look original. Okay, anyway, so, basta. Let's get to it. Alright, first off, CDs. I got this at Bernardo's because I, because I like this artist, but only like some of his songs, but I will get into his other songs after that. So, I got Ricky Martin's self-title album. This is his um, first ever English album, which he done. With, well, I think this is his first English album that he done, because he's Spanish or something like that. And uh, on here, it's got the Spanish version of La Vida Vida Loca, which is one of the songs which he did do in English, and it's one of the popular songs which he, which he, which everybody knows about him. All right. Anyway, um, other than that, I got them a new. Robbie Williams CD because I wanted um because I like Robbie Williams I uh, sometimes I don't like some of his songs but I want to get like all of his CDs what he's made out so I got his album Escape Escape Escapeology it's just Escapeology that's what it's called so and um, all the tracks. See, this is what I don't get about CDs. Sometimes you have to turn them off vertically to actually see the tracks. I don't get that. Why are some CDs actually doing that? But yeah, Robbie Williams, Escapeology. Now, we'll come to the other CDs because um, I've gotten a kind of few now CDs because I've been falling back on my collection of the now CDs. So I've got a few of them. First off, the one which I got from Bernardo's, which is in a big CD case, like a four CD one, which has, which can house four CDs, but instead, all the now CDs that are out now, they've only got two. So I got now 26. This is the earliest one which I've got, my collection now. Plus, it's got some of uh, my favourite songs on there as well, which I've been playing the game since Raw the Third, and I've been um, listening to some of the music, which is actually... On the, these MCDs. So that's that. Also, I've got the other ones as well, which are kind of good collection. So I got now 29, because I got these from that entertainment. Now 36. And at last, now 40. So yeah, I've been aiming to get all my. Now CD collection higher up and all that, and still missing the candy lot, so we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, now on to the DVDs themselves. I got a candy lot this time, and I got a few which I did mention that my mate gave us on um, in the Dane for Free vlog along the coast when it was our mistake. So I, I did mention it, but now you'll get to see them. First off, Disney. Disney films. I got Disney's 43rd classic, Brother Bear. Now, a lot of their stories actually in these animated films are not that good, like after Lilo and Stitch, but this wasn't actually that bad. So I've, so that's actually a good film to watch. Next up, my mate, who saw this the other DVDs, also saw me this as well. Because I've already got um, Muppet's Christmas Carol. I've got Mickey's Christmas Carol. So why not get Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey in it? Obviously, Jim Carrey's a good a good actor. I like him. He's a phenomenal actor. So I can't wait to watch that at Christmas. Next up, I got Disney. One of Disney's dark animated films. Because I know for a fact Disney does not do any dark films but this was a successful dark animated film and it is The Black Cauldron and this is their 25th classic in 
the 25th anniversary edition. But this is what I don't get. It says 25th anniversary on there. But then why does it say on the disc? The Ultimate Quest Edition actually says it on there. So that's all that it does say. No point in using the code because I've already used it. Alright, next. This is a brilliant film. What I've enjoy it actually lives up to the title and this is absolutely the best one out of the lot I can say it because this has topped my because this has topped the one which is in my favorite I'm of course talking about Fast and Furious but this is Fast and Furious 6 this has topped Too Fast Too Furious now because I've been I've watched this can a lot of the times and it's brilliant. It's more action than street racing now, but um, but still, it's awesome to watch. Next, I got the second one of this because um, I wanted to expand on um, the this film, but I might get the series of it. I don't know. I might do. I'm of course talking about. One of my um, mate's films, which he's shown as at his, and I liked it as well. So, my mum gave, gave us the first one, so I got the second one of Jackass 2. This is um, the young cut version, because my mum gave us a special collector's edition of the first one, but this is the young cut edition of the second one. So that's that. Alright, next. Know how I was telling you about my mate actually selling us and three DVDs of exa of exactly the same film, but like the all the, all the series. So he sold us these three, which I absolutely like. But the second one, a little bit of a disappointment, but I'll get into that in another video. So he gave me Transformers, which is the two disc special edition of it. So yeah, he gave us that. And he also saw me um, Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen. So I'll explain in another video why I don't like that one compared to this one which I've got in my hand. Now obviously he didn't have the 2 disc edition of this. But hopefully when I get the next gen console, if I get the Xbox One, um, I might be able to play the Blu-ray of this. Yeah, that's right, he did. He saw me the Blu-ray edition of Transformers Dark of the Moon. But if I get the next gen console, if I get the Xbox One, I'll be able to play it. Um, obviously, it's a triple player. So it comes with the digital, includes a Blu-ray, DVD and digital cord. But it's used a digital cord, so there's no point of actually using it. There's the Blu-ray, there's the leaf of the thing for the cord, but I'm covering it up. It doesn't matter anyways. Anyway, that is that as well. So that's the standard. And you got the blue rear. So, yeah, so I'd just like to thank you again for selling me those, and I will enjoy them as well. Alright, next is WWE DVDs. I've got two pay per views exactly the same, but in different years. So, I got WWE's Bragging Rights 2009. And I also got Bragging Rights 2010. This one includes the Nexus. This one doesn't. This one has got a very good match in, uh, which um, that one there. John Cena versus, versus Randy Orton in a Iron Man match. In a one hour Iron Man match. And this one in, um, does have the Nexus in with Weird Barrett, David Otonga and... All the other ones. Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater. So that's that. Alright, last is the game. Now you already know this because I've unboxed it. Because I've un done an unboxing video of this game. Because I've got the special edition of it. But here it is. I got Grand Theft Auto 5. Right, this was originally 60 quid in game. For the special edition. But with a pre-order slip. I got with it. Now, without put down five pound for it, it takes it off that, so that makes it fifty five quid. But I had another five quid on my card, so which means I take that off, 
So it means I only got it for 50 quid. So that's that. That's awesome. And I got it for 50 quid. It's not that. It's not a pretty bad game, but still think San Andreas tops this. Still tops this. So this will come second in my Grand Theft Auto best list. Alright, the last but not least, I wanted to show you these other things. So I will show you them now. And here they are. I got these filing cabinets, all from where I work at M. Bernardo's. Uh, they were fifteen pound each, but but I work at M. Bernardo's, so obviously enough, I get an employee discount. I'm not gonna say how much though, but um, but there we are. Got an employee discount, and they were absolutely brilliant to get. So I I love them, and there is loads and loads of space in them as well. We just open up this one here. Got me Disney DVDs in there, and including me box sets, all in there. So all the box sets, what are in there, they're in there as well. So that's that. So, so yeah. So anyway, this has been the Triple Day Show, episode nine, series four. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video as well. So, at the end of all that, PUSH! PUSH!